Raven and I'm back this week with some new content. For those of you that are new to the page, welcome. I'm so glad you came. And for those of you that have been with me for some time now, welcome back and thanks so much for the support. This week, we are going to talk about Meghan Markle, okay? She's in the press right now, she's in the media, she's big, she always has been big since she's married Prince Harry. But this week, we're going to talk about our body type series. So we're gonna stay in line with our body type series and we're going to talk about the Duchess of Sussex hits and misses for her body type, okay? So let's hop into it, all right? Now, this is a body type that I have not touched on because generally there are four body types, the pear, the hourglass, the rectangle, and the apple, okay? Now, there's a lot of articles, there's a lot of talk about what Meghan Markle's body type is, and a lot of those articles say she's either an hourglass or she's an inverted triangle, okay? Now, with the research that I've done and the pictures that I've seen, I would err on the side that Meghan Markle is actually an inverted triangle, but there are some experts out there that say she's an hourglass, okay? But for the sake of argument today, we're going to say that Meghan Markle is an inverted triangle, okay? So the first question that probably popped into your mind is, Raven, what's an inverted triangle, all right? With an inverted triangle, you have wider shoulders, a larger bust, and an undefined waist. Okay, now your goal for the inverted triangle is to take attention away from that shoulder area, upper half of the body, and focus on the lower half. All right, so let's talk about some hits and misses for the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. The first picture that we had is Meghan Markle in a blue dress by Victoria Beckham. Um, she attended the Endeavor Awards in Britain in this dress with her and Prince Harry. The most famous picture that you'll see of Meghan Markle in this dress is with Prince Harry in the rain with him holding the umbrella, taking such good care of his woman. And the reason this is going to be a miss for Meghan Markle's body type is because of the broad shoulders, okay? Go straight across, there's no neckline really to define it. It's just straight, it's square. And so with Meghan Markle having a wider upper half, she actually drew attention to that and it, it widened her here, okay? So overall, the look was great, but for her style type, or I'm sorry, excuse me, her body type, this would actually be a miss, okay? Let's now talk about the green paras dress that Meghan wore on Britain's Commonwealth Day. Now, again, overall, the look for Meghan is great. I like the style. But for her body type, this would actually be a miss because again, here you are with broad shoulders and it widens her, okay? But the green is, it looks great on her. I love the nude shoe. There have recently been some articles and some talks on the media about Meghan paying homage to Princess Diana, our forever princess, um, in some of the styles that she has worn. And so overall, this is a great look, but for her body type, it would actually be a miss, okay? Now let's talk about some of the hits because Megan has quite a few, but there are two that I like the most. Let's start with this Oscar de la Renta fall 2018 midi dress. This look, I tell you guys all the time, styles are cheap from head to toe. And what Megan did with this midi dress is she paired it with a pair of olive boots and a matching clutch, a matching olive clutch, and it just brought the entire look together. She kept it simple and cute, right? Um, Again, this is fall 2018. And the reason this is a hit for Megan is because of the V-neck, right? It softens the shoulder. And then the puffier sleeve, it takes attention away from that upper half, okay? So remember, with the inverted triangle, your goal is to focus on your bottom half as opposed to the upper half. And if you have wider shoulders, you want to take attention away from that shoulder area, all right? The next hit, and I say winner, winner, chicken dinner with this dress, is Megan's one shoulder or black one shoulder Givenchy dress that she wore to the British Fashion Awards. You cannot go to an award show and not hit. You have to go to an award show, fashion award show, and you have to hit. And she definitely did that with this dress. Again, this is a black one shoulder Givenchy dress. With the one shoulder, it takes away from that broad shoulder look that she has. And in addition, as I told you guys before, black is slimming. I don't care what body type you are, black overall is slimming, all right? But again, with Megan, she has definitely come into her style. You'll notice toward the end of her time with the British monarchy that she started to come into her own as far as style is concerned. Generally, those are women who have to tone down their um, style 
neutral colors. I believe there was an article in the past that stated that she had to wear a certain type of nail color. She had to wear pantyhose. And so you notice that toward the end of her time with the British monarchy, she started to come to her own. You started to see her wear more colors, darker nail polish. She started to wear her hair in certain styles. She went with no pantyhose. So I definitely like that. Overall, Megan's style is a plus. Um, she, she does, she rarely misses, uh, especially when she's attending events. So shout out to the Duchess of Sussex. Uh, you will be our forever princess. Generally, I try not to get into talks about what the media has to say and my opinions because they're like, but hoes, everybody has one, right? And that's not my department. My department is style. And I would say Meghan Markle definitely has style. Okay. So for what's to come for Vogue Mode, please be on the lookout for our outfit of the day. I went with something so springy because it is sundress season. I went with something with some cleavage. I wanted the girls out. This weather where I live is amazing right now. And so I can't wait to wear this dress. Of course, it's by Fashion Nova. It is the brunch date dress. And it, I, I love this dress overall. It's free flowing. It has splits, as you can tell. And I like to pair it with a pair of new heels. So the outfit of the day will be posted to my Instagram Reels on Monday. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because YouTube content will drop first and then everything else will be uploaded to the IGTV. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell for when we post some new content. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content video and I hope I was able to give some tips, tricks, and advice. That's what Vogue Mode is here for. If you haven't already, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also make sure you follow us on Instagram. We're on Instagram at in the mode. That's I-N-D-A, or I'm sorry, excuse me, I-N underscore D-A-M-O-D-E. Sometimes I forget my own underscore. I just don't understand it. But we are on Instagram, so make sure you follow us there. Again, we are glad that you're here. We hope that you come back and I hope you guys have a safe and happy weekend. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.